What if I told you there was a place, a place that stands as a testament to the breathtaking diversity and resilience of nature? A place where plant life has woven an intricate tapestry that exists nowhere else on this planet. The Cape Floral. Yes, what are you doing? The Cape Flora, located in the southern western part of South Africa, is one of the world's largest biodiversity hotspots, containing over 9,600 plant species and a variety of different animals. This vast, unique ecosystem was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Environmental Site. There are a few reasons as to why it was recognized as a World Heritage Site. A few reasons include the cultural and historical significance as the Cape Floral may have played an important role in history and tradition the large amount of floral and animal diversity, and a large amount of plant evolution research was also found at the Cape Floral. Now, we are in the beautiful Cape Floral. Oh wait, I think I see an animal up ahead. So majestic. Oh no, he's coming to our team. The dominant vegetation type in the Cape Floral is fine boss, which is distinguished by its small evergreen shrubs and resilient leaves. Fine boss has adapted to the region's Mediterranean climate, which is wet winters and dry summers. Now that we've established the type of vegetation, here are two facts about the Cape Floral. Number one, Cape Floral plant evolution. Mediterranean climate and the isolation of the Cape Floral has contributed to the evolution of distinct plant lineages. The region has extensive history of geological and climatic changes which has formed its flora over millions of years. Number two, medicinal value. Because of the diversity of plants, the Cape Floral has medicinal, cultural and economic value. Some species of plants are used in traditional medicines while others are cultivated for their ornamental value. The Cape Floral is one of the most spectacular vegetation kingdoms in the world in terms of diversity. However, the Cape Floral is under threat from urbanization, agriculture, invasive species and climate change. The establishment of several national parks and protected areas are examples of efforts that are being made to protect and conserve this isolated ecosystem. Click this link if you'd like to learn more.